happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Radike Digital AM FM Portable Radio. You can find this radio on Amazon for $14.99 at the making of this video. Hopefully the price is the same or even lower. That'd be great. I'll have links below to the radio. You might want to pick one up. It's a lot of fun. In this video, I'll perform a daytime medium wave band scan. Should be exciting. So first we'll do features, second I'll do a size comparison, and third I'll start cruising the daytime band. I have no idea what we're going to find. Hopefully they find something. It does pretty good typically in locals and semi-locals. We'll see what happens with distant stations. So features of the Radeke. Left hand side we got a thumb wheel volume control. We got our telescopic whip antenna, 18 inches. Recess nicely there, and it does pivot here uh, when you pull this out, which is nice. And some people said you could use it as a stand if you want to angle your radio. Nice. Though it doesn't need it because this thing is the big daddy and stands just fine because it's one, and I believe one and a quarter inches thick. <laughs> it's as thick as a brick. But the big daddy, yeah, it's cool radio. I'm enjoying it. Uh, the front of the radio here, we got a nice LCD display, which is uh, backlit with a, a white LED. So I'll kind of change the color of my screen a little bit, but it only lasts five seconds. We have a clock display when the power's off, battery level indicator. Uh, neat setup there. Again, easy to read. I really like how they did that. On the side here is a lock switch. Uh, you can see it's lock unlock. Just push this up. And a little red indicator will come on saying that the radio is locked out. That goes away in five seconds. There you go. Hit a button. The little dummy light tells you, hey, dummy, it's locked. <laughs> so then you go over here, just unlock it, and that's gone. Sweet. So, yeah, very basic controls. If you look here, on, off, exactly does what it says. Uh, this button here, uh, if you press and hold it, sets the clock when you're in the power off mode. And you can change it by going up and down, lock in setting. When the radio is on, it's the preset button. Uh, press and hold, and then you can uh, adjust presets uh, manually. You get 10 of them on AM and 10 on FM. Just enough to all you need for a radio like this. Tuning is up and down. These up and down buttons. Uh, you have seek tuning or incremental tuning. You can't press and hold and go quickly through the band. I wish you could. That would have been nice. These left and right like back and forward are for your presets. So you get preset tuning like that and incremental tuning like this. Very nice. Center button there looks like an alarm symbol. It's actually your sleep timer. So you have 90 minutes and it goes down in 10 minute increments all the way down to off. So 90, 80, 70, 60. You get the idea. Down here we have a nice two inch speaker that has decent audio quality. Hopefully you'll get to hear that when we tune the band. I like it. It's very pleasing. Um, Really surprised by the quality of the $15 radio. Right hand side, we have that lock switch and the band select AM FM. And here we have a little information. Bring up close to personal there. It runs on three AA batteries and it runs on a 2032 uh, lithium uh, backup battery for the clock. Nice. You had the batteries out, the double A's, but the little coin cell kept the clock going. That was neat. I think it saves your presets as well. We'll open up the battery compartment just to kind of show you what's going on. There's the three AA batteries. And then that coin cell fits right here. It's got a holder for it. So there you are. Very simple. Uh, some people aren't fan of three AA, but, you know, I have a lot of AA batteries. So not a big deal for me. <laughs> um, it's kind of nice that it has an extra, extra power. That's what you need. All right. Cool. So let's do a little size comparison. The Big Daddy uh, next to the Little Dude, <laughs> CC Pocket. Look at the display, just an absolutely amazing difference. Um, of course, there is a size difference here. The C Crane is a FM AM weather alert portable radio. <laughs> Has a few more presets, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Here you go. And the Radikey is the same size as a CC Skywave. 
which we don't need for frequency checking since this is a digital radio. Uh, we don't have to worry about it, but there you go. CC Skywave. And last but not least, uh, deck of cards in case you don't have those items. Iron Man! Yeah! He's here. <laughs> He's the man with the master plan. He loves big daddies in each hand. <laughs> that cracks me up every time I say that. <laughs> uh, he's the master man, Iron Man. You won today, big daddy. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just having fun. But yeah, deck of cards. You get the idea. Standard size. Bo. I like my Iron Man. No doubt about it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn this on and start cruising the daytime band. So, power on. Again, my screen color will change a little bit. Just, I mean, I could put this here, but it kind of gets in the way because we're going to need to keep turning the radio. So let's go ahead and do what we can hear. Let's turn this up. No stations on 520 or 530. Let's go up the thing here. As you can see, AM band, better life, frequency with large numbers, and kilohertz, of course. Now it does, after 10 seconds, default back to the clock. So if you want it, your Frequency back, you just tap the button when it goes away. So, wait here, should disappear in a second. There's our clock. That's actually good that it showed up, 11.12 a.m. Central Daylight Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA for this band scan, so you know where my location. And most of the stations we hear are going to be local stations. So, tap it once to get back on frequency to see what you're doing. And let's just incremental up and down. We're not going to use the presets. First station, 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. Here it is. Road rage. I mean, there's increase in road rage incidents. Fatal road rage So we can bring in the loop. i got a passive loop. We'll probably use this quite a bit. I'll place it here and see if I can't improve that signal quality. I think they have stricter regulations on whether or not you could bring your weapon into town. We never covered that story, but it, you were the one who found that as far as the, the, the history. Uh, the history of the OK Corral. So there you go. Pretty nice. Uh, the it helped. assumption, you know, when we think about... Okay, so let's go ahead and keep going. I'm going to have this loop off the table. But I'll bring it up as we need it. All right. Smacking my sky wave there. Nice. It's durable. The night I was... Sometimes when I'm preparing for a show, I just... I, I just love to sit and think. And then, 560 WIND, Chicago, Illinois, the answer. And this and that, and the, but, but sometimes I just need time to sit and think. And Obviously, they're not learning very much. And uh, do you, and I guess we can come back to the idea of how faculty might be integrating it. NPR station 580 WILL, Urbana, Illinois, 150 miles south. Turn the radio this way. So we can't clarify this. There we go. In fact, I noticed halfway through the semester that the students were copying and pasting ChatGPT generated code uh, for their assignments. Um, and the, the reason I did, was able to detect that was, you know, we had this student that had a certain pattern of coding, and all of a sudden they turn in code that is very well documented, but fabricated, has some fabricated functions, or doesn't run. Um, so I, I tried to think okay. of ways, just like anybody else. I wonder if the antenna is at the bottom. I don't think there's room for it, but you never know. I think it's at the top. Let's keep going. Now, this is a far station. This is where we're going to push the limits. This is 590 WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. We can see if the pocket can pick it up. Let me just uh, tune on down at the pocket. Okay, pocket's not picking it up either. <clears throat> Let's bring in the loop. There we go. Got something. Okay. 
Okay, cool. It does work. I barely hear what's going on. Next station. WMT Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles to the west. We are pushing the limits of this $15 radio. But we should be able to get a better signal here. Yeah, those loops really make a difference. Is it me? I've never met a freshly cut lawn that didn't prompt me, prompt me to say, hello, beautiful, or see if you can get a haircut <laughs> on a regular basis. You sure as heck can cut your grass when it needs to be cut. 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles to the north. Bill says C. Mm, let's see what I say. Mm. Here's the things that reasonable people expect when it comes to lawns. You cut your grass on a regular basis. <laughs> At the sound of your voice, tell your smart device to play the Black Information Network station on iHeartRadio. WMFN, Pietone, Illinois. Entertainment news. I think it matters, and I don't think fans deserve to have to go through another sell-off at the deadline. I, even if it is the right move, it, it just seems like that's, that's not what this what 670 to score to BSCR, Chicago, home of the Cubs. If you notice this preset there, uh, and if you want sleep, you just tap the center button. Feeling appropriate pressure on the, the now more scrutinized decisions that he makes on what we're told was going to be. A little icon team. shows up. I guess, what do you mean by appropriate pressure? Mm -hmm. Like, as in, like, he's aware that he needs to be, uh, like, Dust he. Off. That he's aware of the, of yeah, I guess I, I, I guess just this understanding that, that there isn't really timer. sort of a, a developmental honeymoon right. now. That this is you're 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 managing to win games. Cool. Springtime in Chicago, and if you hate to paint, do what your neighbor Greg did. He called Rhino Shield. Seven twenty WGN Chicago. Always commercials when I land on it. <laughs> really been prepped and painted very very poorly. Remember, Rhino Shield's not paint. Better. We really. But many profound times. Um. In the last, probably. Seven fifty WNDZ Portage, Indiana. Does that become closer to cry? Minutes the outbound. Twenty sixteen to Montrose. Twenty six out to the airport on the Eisenhower inbound. It's a 40. 780 to BBM Chicago. I'm in the outbound Ike 13 to Mannheim in 31 minutes out to I 90. No outbound delay. We're going to push the limits just to see. This is 760 WGR, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. I doubt we'll pick up anything. Just ever so slight. I can pick that up ever so slightly. That's cool. Nice. Lavelle Law, for more than 30 years, Lavelle Law has provided comprehensive legal advice for Dust Magnet and their owners in areas such as MA, litigation, estate planning, family law, and more. Protect your legacy. Visit LavelleLaw.com. Next traffic at 1128. Radio 1059 WBBM. We have Canadian wildfire staying for the heat. Just go to drmartypets.com slash Tom. drmartypets.com slash T-H-O-M. Or text Tom to find... 820 to BCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois. The Hal Sparks Radio Program. Ladies and gentlemen, Clarence Tom. Generational wealth. So when you're ready, call me. Well, this, you can at least listen to WNOV. Uh, this is Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles to the north. Low power. Um, it, it runs about... Uh, brings the color back. <laughs> uh, it runs about 200 watts. Uh, here's East Lansing, Michigan. This is hard to get. 200 miles to the east. WKAR. So 
Still just picking up barely audible. All right, we'll keep going. All right, Eddie. It's WLS, Chicago. Blood pressure meter. I think it's well over the legal limit right now. Next up, straight talk from Doug. Ever notice that saying no offense is... 920 WOKY, the Big Badger, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. See? Offense. That's the straight talk talking. Get a... This is really the mentality, and then also how we feel that in your time, your time. It's um, the conditions that make it... 9.30 WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois, Relevant Radio. Cliff Notes version, because there's, there's something I'm going to share uh, with everybody, too, because I was... Uh, WFAW, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin, has good music in the evening. I had this experience when you were sitting down. There's a video on YouTube, you can watch it on the people on YouTube, it's called Trauma, Trauma, it's been talking for 35 minutes about going crazy. Yeah, but anyway, there's something that happened when you were a kid where you were uh, a... There you go. That was pretty quick. You can tell it really helps bring that signal in. 9.50 is uh, WNTD, Chicago. Relevant radio. NPR station WHA, Madison, Wisconsin. WMVP Chicago ESPN. He's coaching the Broncos. I'm just saying, but before that, he wasn't. And he was wide open. He was. Music on 1030s WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. They're, not, they're angry. They feel that they've been left out. They feel that they've been shortchanged. Here's 1050 WLIP. Kenosha, Wisconsin. And you have it in the inner cities. You most certainly do. And I... Just hit a hint of music here. It'll be HFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan. 95 miles away to the east. Bring our loop back in, perpendicular to the internal ferrite antenna. Keep going. Today, complete qualifying activities within six days of account opening. Not too bad for a 15 buck radio. <laughs> 1070 WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. That's about 70 miles to the northwest. And Lowe's, we're always bringing pros more. Got music on WNWI, Oklahoma, Illinois. More of an ethnic music. Eleven ten WXES Chicago. One call for all your landscape maintenance needs. We've been serving southeastern Wisconsin for twenty eight years, and our experts understand what. So eleven thirties WS WISN Milwaukee Wisconsin. Fertilization and weed control, and the more challenging tasks like tree and shrub care, pruning, and disease diagnosis. Mom's big uh, law enforcement. Yeah, it does feel They want to defund your local police, but they want to give more money to the CIA and FBI. So here's 1160 WYLL, Chicago, Illinois, Hope for Your Life. Uh, you can tell it's a preset station. The Hunter Biden team being dismantled, you know, they invest at the IRS. By Cool, we got music uh, on WSQR, the squirrel, the squirrels on my radio from Sycamore, Illinois. Nice. WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. Just 
just a hint of WKRS while Keegan, let's just see if the loop pulls it in. I hear like a Taco Bell there, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, that's odd. 1220 is usually in uh, Spanish. Wonder if we're hitting 1230. No, it's 1220. Cool. What if they change the programming? Get there on on their own. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, the ones that probably are highest acuity in there. WCLO, Jansville, Wisconsin. Usually an agro channel. If you want to know anything about farming, you two in here. Emergency department via Um There's a high percentage of people that are uh, nice tone. Or they drive them. Nice tone from that speaker. And some of those ones that. WSBC Chicago. Okay, I'm just hearing a hint of uh, WETZ Monroe, Wisconsin, 60 miles away. It's a challenging station to get. Let's see if we can't hear it with the loop. There you go, got some country music playing. Nice. That's a good investment, that Turk Advantage. I like it. Okay. Of course, you can use other passive loops as well. Here's the BIG, Aurora, Illinois. If you get kind of high pitch whine, sometimes the loop will take it away. That helps it. Just slightly. Alright. <laughs> Rocking out here. I don't know what they're saying. They're probably saying, You're dumb, dude. I'm like, Oh, yeah, yeah, look at me. <laughs> 1300 WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. Yeah, I'm having fun. This is great. It's kind of cool. Kicking and telling. Underway. We all do things to protect and provide for our family. And one of the things... 1310 WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. Emergency food. Kind that can be stored away for up to 25 years. If you haven't thought about it yet, you should. Smart form of food insurance. You can get it from My Patriot Supply. By going on the website, preparewithplayandbuck.com. There you go, 25-year fleet supply. Get ready for everything. WNTA, Rockford, Illinois. Okay, go a little quicker. So, yeah, decal about here, WLBK. Uh... This, they want to change their format. Now there's music all the time. It's great. So, DeKalb, Illinois. We got Prince. Can't hover on it, but cool. Nice. 1380 WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. More music. Yeah. Inspiration 1390, okay, WGRB, Gospel Radio, out of Chicago, Illinois. A little bit of interference from 1380 and 1400, so it's always a challenge with most radios. WRGN, Racine, Wisconsin. WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. With a birdie tone there. Again, we'll see if the loop can remove it. Or take it down a notch. 
the Lords Park Lagoon hosted the Tri-State Ice Skating Championships oh, beginning gone. in 1923. First drawing of skaters from Illinois, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Soon the races grew, and skaters of all ages also traveled to Elgin from Ohio, Iowa, and Missouri to compete in over 60 individual races. Once frozen yeah, solid, I think I almost eliminated it. Of ice, the Lords Park Lagoon was Very cleared cool. of snow and doused with buckets of hot water to prepare a slick skating surface. Eight laps around the lagoon made a one-mile course. The full right. day of races would include Going. hundreds of skaters. Doubt Fourteen thirty is a W E E F E E F Deerfield, Illinois. That's one to say real fast three times. <laughs> Ethnic music. Northern Illinois Hospice responded. W R O K Rockford, Illinois. Within the hour to talk with me and my mom, they had a hospital bed brought over that same day. Okay, we're just picking up WRLL, the real Cicero, Illinois. It's a Hispanic station, I think. There you go. Cool. Hinton, West Ellis, Wisconsin. I don't think it's going to get better. Music plan. WJTI. We got Iron Country, WGEZ, Beloit, Wisconsin. The loop would, of course, improve it. A heavy metal, WPJX, Zion, Illinois. Let's see if we can improve this. <laughs> Barely. Okay, it's a hard station to get sometimes. So we're towards the top of the band here. It's doing pretty good. Christian Radio 1520 WLUV Loves Park, Illinois. Got a hint here. Signal. WGLB Port Washington, Wisconsin. A faint signal to the south, 60 miles away. Watertown, Wisconsin, WTTN. WCGO, Evanston, Illinois, to the east. Just picking up traffic advisor radio from Lake County, Illinois. They have like five watt transmitters. Usually comes in either weak or strong, depending. Sometimes the ground conditions can make a difference. You know if the ground's wet or not. WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin, Relevant Radio. One thing after another, after another, after another. Um, and then maybe the best thing to do is to, you know, just go out in the wilderness and go camping go. or go to the beach. Um, Enhance it. Remove some of that great high pitch wine. The zone, WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. Bird Bash, only at Potawatomi Casino Hotel. 
There you go. More info at PaysMid.com. Okay, this is WBON, uh, Berwyn, uh, Illinois. Thanks on the talk in Chicago, and we have had some great discussions here today. And so cool, we're done. Awesome. You know, this is a great radio. I didn't expect it to perform as well as it did during the day. Uh, evening, like I said, I woke up. I was picking up stations all over the place. Um, New York City, uh, Louisiana, Atlanta. You know, it picks up everywhere. Uh, did I say Denver? Yeah, it goes everywhere. Canada, um, even Mexico, and even Cuba, possibly, when they're transmitting out there. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and turn that off. Um, so yeah, definitely worthy of fourteen ninety nine. It's a little bigger radio. It takes an extra battery and that coin cell for the backup, but it actually is a decent portable radio. I'm actually pretty excited to feature this radio and do a band scan with it. Headphone jack is good, and I want to mention, if you haven't seen the review video, the full one, of a, in the iCard section, check it out, because I did a full FM band scan with this thing, and it's absolutely amazing. FM is where it's at with this radio as well. Um, just It has a very good rating on the FM. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, check out the review, review video if you love FM as well as the AM band. Um, I'm, of course, a fan of both, or even shortwave as well, but this one only has two bands. <laughs> if it said shortwave, I'd be happy as could be. Maybe it does, hidden on the chip, and i got to access it. Sometimes they do. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did. Two, if you like a Radicky brand, or you want to see more inexpensive DSP radio such as this, uh, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future reviews and videos and comparisons and band scans. And three, comment below what you think about the Radicky digital AM FM radio. Be something you'd like to own, um, add to your collection. I find it unique enough. I love these preset buttons. They're, they're a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if I showed you that. Uh, it's really easy to use. You just can navigate right to your preset that you want. Money for most murder reasons, Rachel. One is uh, the Chase Corp. That's yeah. an option. Yeah, look, we're both married. I really wish, honestly. She's kind of the point. Because <laughs> one of the big points of our book is if you want to get your needs met. And if the governor signs it. I'm Dan, I'm Dan Lynch. The Sycamore City about the Chicago. So there you go. Cool. Showing the presets. That's a lot of fun. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. And uh, yeah, I hope you uh, check out the radio. Like I said, I got links below if you want to support the channel. That's great. Uh, again, awesome. The Big Daddy out again. Uh, so rock on. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in my next video.